Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next sneak peek video. And today we're talking about the other side of the uh, of the update, the defensive or not the defensive side. Last video was defensive. Today we're talking about the troop levels, the uh, spell changes, all the new uh, changes to the offensive stuff in Clash of Clans, and specifically the effects this will have on clan wars. In my own opinion, I know I'm not the first person to make a video on this, but hopefully I can add some new thoughts for you guys, uh, especially uh, about how it's going to change the war scene at Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, all that good stuff. So. Um, also, as I make this video, there's more stuff coming out every day in the sneak peeks. I'll be covering that. I am taking, I guess, kind of a small break uh, just for a day or two from the regular videos because this is, I guess, what everyone wants to hear about right now is the update. And I'll get back to the, you know, war recaps, live attacks, all the usual stuff um, as soon as all the sneak peeks are out probably and maybe beforehand. Maybe I'll sneak some videos in. Uh, in between sneak peeks. Uh, so yeah, be looking for those videos uh, as we continue to hear more about the update that's coming out. But let's take a look at some of the offensive changes and the effects they're going to have on war, just going through one by one. Uh, first one to start here is going to be the new dragon levels at Town Hall 11. So last video I talked a lot about how Town Hall 11 is having some defensive buffs, which is going to kind of put the Town Hall in jeopardy because now three-star attacks, which were very difficult to begin with, look like they are beginning going to be getting even more difficult. But the level 6 dragon is definitely interesting. It opens up the possibility for a mass dragon or a, a hybrid dragon attack. I'm not sure that level 6 dragons will be enough. But, you know, we've seen level 5 dragons. Now we're at level 6 dragons. These things have a lot of hit points and do a lot of damage. So I think that that might open up some stuff at Town Hall 11. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical, but we'll see how it goes. And also keep in mind, people, um, Town Hall 9s, Town Hall 8s, Town Hall 7s even, can bring these new monster level 6 dragons in their CC on offense and on defense. So should add another... Um, another level of dragons to pretty much all those town hall levels in the form of the clan castle uh, donations. So that's an interesting consequence to think of as well. Uh, moving right along though, we also have the bowlers now getting a nerf in their hit points. So this is something that um, I thought about this for a little while and I, I think I'm happy this is coming out. I don't think Town Hall 10 needed this. I think Town Hall 10 was okay as far as bowlers go. Um, Town Hall 11 was also okay. The mass bowler attack, unless your base is just, you know, uh, kind of an anti two star uh, internet based layout, uh, we weren't seeing mass bowlers. But that being said, at Town Hall 9, bowlers have just been, well, they've, they've honestly been uh, ruining some of the balance. Town Hall 9 actually is somewhat balanced right now. I think it's not, you know, in, in that bad of a, of a position, but I think by making bowlers a little less, um, powerful and by doing so by reducing their hit points, which is definitely a good way to do it. That's going to make Town Hall 9 even more balanced, which I, you know, I still care about Town Hall 9, even though I'm a Town Hall 10, and I'm sure a lot of you Town Hall 9 certainly do. Um, as far as Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 goes, I don't think that it was needed, but I think it won't be that big of a deal. Uh, sorry about that. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. I think uh, we'll still see bowlers being used in kill squads, but it'll probably take away any of the remaining mass bowler attacks. Sorry, I hope I don't keep getting notifications. It should... It, it should take away some of the mass bowler attacks um, if there were any still left, I guess, on, on some anti-two-star bases. But for the most part, this looks to be a good change. Um, I'm, I'm liking it so far. Next one is the spells. I'm going to talk a little bit about some changes to spells right now. Uh, the clone spell. Longer duration. So I think that means it clones troops longer. I never fully understood how the clone spell worked in the first place. And one thing I always thought was kind of stupid, to be completely honest, is that the cloned troops don't stay. I always thought they should stay um, for the entire attack. But now uh, cloned troops, I guess you get more of them because the spell lasts longer. Or maybe not more of them. Uh... I think they, you know, the troops themselves last longer. I think the maximum amount, uh, I guess you could call it, the maximum amount of troops is still the same, and that changes as you upgrade it, I believe. But I think now the troops will stay a little bit longer. I've always thought they should stay permanently, but I guess Supercell, Supercell has other stuff in mind. So either way, know the clone spell is getting a buff. I'm still skeptical that anyone's going to use it as long as it costs four spell space because that's a huge amount of uh, huge investment you're going to have to make. You're going to have to drop two uh, regular elixir spells to, to uh, allow for that four spell space 
um, clone spell. I still don't think it'll be used, but we'll see. I'm not sure how uh, drastic this change is going to be and how long, how much longer the duration will be. As far as the skelly spell goes, the skeleton spell, I'm, you know, I'm for both these changes. I think these are these spells are not used at all, really. So I'm, I'm definitely for these changes, even though I'm a little bit skeptical about how much they'll work. Um, but the skeleton spell, we're seeing it last a little bit longer now. Um, same with the, so pretty much the same concept. We're getting more skeletons coming out because it stays longer. And, you know, who knows how it'll be used. It can't trigger traps. It can't lure CC troops still. But, you know, it could provide some tanking. If you're doing a queen charge, you can throw those down, add a tank for your queen. And the, th the, the thing I'm thinking is that sometimes you don't need two poison spells if you don't, you know, need to poison both the heroes and the CC troops, for example. And sometimes you find yourself with kind of an extra poison spell. So this could be a way to, to get at least some value out of that uh, extra spell space because you have to bring at least two dark elixir spells in a war attack. So that's how I'm thinking it might be used. I don't know if it's going to be used... Um, too much and it'll get too much value for people but I think it you know we might see it occasionally in war now that the skeletons uh, spawn a little bit more frequently for a longer period of time so I look forward to seeing how those work out though uh, should definitely be uh, interesting okay let's move along um, what's the next one I have here um, yeah that's gonna be the baby dragon changes <clears throat> We're seeing the baby dragon uh, go to level 5 at Town Hall 11. Definitely something that's going to be interesting um, as far as how that plays out. I don't know how Town, Town Hall 11s will use it other than funneling. Um, you know, we've seen it for funneling at pretty much every Town Hall level it's available at. That seems to be the main purpose of the baby dragon. We also see the baby dragon Valk combo attacks. But the thing is, we typically only see that for Town Hall uh, 9 and Town Hall 10s just because those are the ones doing two-star attacks because the Baby Dragon Valk combo, besides occasionally at Town Hall 9, is typically going to be a two-star strategy. And Town Hall 11s really aren't doing many two-star attacks. So, you know, maybe we'll see Town Hall 11 try to make a three-star strategy out of it. It should definitely be interesting. Uh, defensive clan castles will be a little bit more powerful because Baby Dragons were already pretty popular. The new level 5 Baby Dragon should add some more uh, power even if it's just a little bit to Town Hall, um, pretty much any Town Hall level uh, CCs on the defensive side. So that's something that's good. I think Clan Castle troops aren't as important as they should be. So they're getting a small buff in the form of the new uh, Baby Dragon. The level 4 Baby Dragon is being moved to Town Hall 10. That, I think, is a bigger change because now we're going to probably see more reliable uh, Valk Baby Dragon attacks to, to two-star Town Hall 11 bases uh, for Town Hall 10s. We already saw that to begin with. Now with another level uh, up on those, and sorry if you hear the phone ringing. Now with another level up on those baby dragons, we should see that even more, and that'll free up Town Hall 11 attacks to come down three-star Town Hall 10s. So that's you know should be interesting. Not sure if that's a good thing. Um, I'm kind of neutral on it, but I'm I'm just sitting back seeing how it's going to work out. Uh, definitely should be something to look for. Finally, uh, last thing we're talking about today, I I think yeah. Yeah, that's going to be the wizard changes. And this is something that I didn't expect at all. Well, I guess I didn't expect a lot of this, but really, I don't, I'm not sure why this is coming. But we're seeing a level 7 wizard at Town Hall 11, level 6 wizard buff, and level 6 wizard going down to Town Hall 9. Uh, so basically an all-around buff to wizards. Uh, I guess I'll start with the Town Hall 11 wizard. Uh, getting the level 7 wizard, it's probably going to be, you know, a little more hit points, a little more damage. Should do a little more, you know, a better job funneling. Not sure much beyond that. I don't think we'll see, you know, too many attacks that use a lot of wizards. But should make it a little bit more effective for doing funneling and other kind of utility tasks. Uh, level 6 wizard buff and also level 6 wizards at Town Hall 9. So the wizard is getting, um, you're not only getting level 6 wizards, you're getting buffed level six wizards at town hall nine that should be interesting to see how that plays out um i'm not sure what what's going to really happen with that but i i guess we'll just see more efficient funneling and maybe baby dragons won't be used quite as much if wizards are better for funneling but besides funneling i don't see anything uh you know the wizards being used much i guess you could throw a few in with your kill squad i've always been saying to do that regardless of the of the wizard buff but now that you have the wizard buff it might make even more sense to drop a few wizards behind your kill squad to help out your heroes with damage especially if you already are bringing golems it's typically worth that four troop space investment so anyway i think i talked about all the new uh troop 
changes and spell changes that we've seen so far. Um, there's going to be more updates. I think there's already been one out since I started recording this video. So uh, I'll have a video on that. Look for that. Um, should be another interesting change. Can't wait to see how this update turns out. Uh, definitely going to be a, a fun time for Clash of Clans to adjust to these new things. So far, so good. I, I'm liking most of the changes. Like I said, be sure to check out my last video for the defensive changes. Uh, that's something that's going to also have a big impact on the game. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next few videos over the next few days. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye. Sack the Toronto.